Good day. Today, we're going to have a look at drawing perspective. So what is drawing in perspective? Basically, it's creating an illusion of a 3D object on a 2D plane. 2D plane being a piece of paper, a photograph, and understanding how to create that or mimic real life. So let's understand what perspective is. Perspective is defined as parallel lines converging to a single point. We call this a vanishing point. We call the lines converging to that vanishing point, orthogonals, and your horizon line. That's all good and well, but let's see it in real life. So firstly, I want you to picture yourself driving on holiday. You're in a car and you're driving to the sea. And what you notice is the road converges to a single point. That's because the earth is rounded. And where it dips over that point, that is your vanishing point. So picture a car next to you and that car racing off. As you'll notice, that car will get smaller and smaller and smaller till it eventually vanishes. One of your rules of perspective are the smaller something, uh, the closer it is to you, the bigger it is. The further away it is, the smaller it is. Now, what I've done is I've drawn two lines or orthogonals that meet to the vanishing point. Now, the vanishing point is on your horizon line. To understand your horizon line, I want you to picture yourself now at the sea. You've placed your feet in the, the sand and you're looking out at the ocean. And what you'll notice is where the sky and the sea meet. That is your horizon line. And your horizon line is at your own eye level. I also want you to picture your buddy getting into a boat. And he's going to row off. But he's not going to row off directly in front of you. He's going to row off to the right. That means the vanishing point doesn't have to be directly in front of you. It can be on the right and left. Now we call this two-point perspective. One point perspective is where we look directly at our vanishing point, and two point perspective is where it vanishes to the right and left. To further understand that, let's have a look at the next slide. Here we have a horizon line. We have two vanishing points, and I have three blocks. Now, I'd like you to pick up your pencil case or a block or an eraser, and I'd like you to hold it. First, I'd like you to raise it to your eye level. Now, have a look. You'll be able to see two sides of it at your eye level, but you won't be able to see the bottom or the top of your eraser. Now, this is also a rule of perspective. Something that is above your eye line, you'll be able to see the bottom of something that's below your eye line, you'll be able to see the top of your eye line also being the horizon line. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try create our own block in perspective using two point perspective. Now to start, we need to remember three things that a line converges either to a vanishing point is horizontal or vertical. So what we're going to do is now we're going to draw our vanishing points. On both sides, a right and left vanishing point, I've placed two blue dots. Then I would like you to label it. Left vanishing point, the horizon line, and your right vanishing point. From there, I'm going to draw a vertical line that is 90 degrees below your horizon line. As we can see, it is below our horizon line. And what I would like to do is take the top of the horizon line, I mean, the top of that line to each vanishing point. First, I'm gonna take it to the right vanishing point and then to the left vanishing point. I'll do it in blue, and these are gonna be my guidelines. Now I'd like to take the bottom of that line to the right vanishing point, and the left vanishing point. Great, now I've got a fence that looks to be a fence 
that just carries on for eternity. What we want to do is we want to finish off this fence. We want to draw a block rather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vertical line on each side. Now from there, I'm going to take the top of the left vertical line to the right vanishing point. And I'm going to take the top of the left of the right vertical line to the left vanishing point. Now you can see a more clear indication of a three-dimensional object. From here, I can erase my guidelines and I can see a three-dimensional block. Congratulations, you have just done your first three-dimensional block. Now, does this apply in real life? Yes, let's have a look at some examples of perspective in real life. It's easiest to understand that man-made objects are straight, therefore it's easiest to identify the vanishing points. Now, how would I be able to, using guidelines, figure out where the right and left vanishing points? What I would be able to do is I'd be able to use the straight lines of the top of the buildings and the bottom of the buildings to converge to the right vanishing point and to the left vanishing point. What I would suggest is you take your ruler and on top of this page, draw lines where there are straight lines in the windows, the doors, the top of the roof, the bottom, even the street. From there, we'll be able to see a left and right vanishing point. Now, where those vanishing points converge, we'll also be able to draw a straight line and figure out where our horizon line. The goal for this exercise is to allow the student to firstly understand why this is being taught. The second goal I use is for the students to understand the work. And the third goal is for the students to understand how the lesson fits into the real world. Firstly, I break the idea into its simplest form and allow the student to develop and apply understanding through the practice shown in the step-by-step -step tutorial. I engage the student in multiple learning styles by asking the student to picture and imagine and reflect on the ideas and uh, the skills that I posed. In order to allow the student to best understand the work, I make use of students' already required knowledge uh, of the topic and then add to new knowledge. This creates uh, building blocks for the students to work on.